So I want to start this video by saying I'm not a licensed nail technician. I'm a self-taught nail enthusiast who began doing my own nails during lockdown. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Wendy, and I'm back <laughs> with another video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and consider subscribing to your girl's channel. New videos posted every Tuesday and Thursday, sometimes on Wednesdays, depending on what's going on. And for my A1 since day one, or how long you've been here, I sure appreciate you. Now I'm saying, now I'm talking about already, man, it's all love. So what I would like for you guys to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment down below on how you think the nails turned out. But please be kind, because if not, you're going to be what? Blocked. So I decided to do a breast cancer awareness nail set. And the reason why is because uh, my mother actually had breast cancer, and I've had several family members that have had various um, types of cancer. And so um, it's very near and dear to my heart, breast cancer awareness because of my mother. So I wear pink until the end of the month for my mom um, because she's very important to me. And you know, what she went through was tough, but you know, I never heard her complain about anything that she went through. And so, you know, she's here today and she's a breast cancer survivor. And so I praise the Lord for my mother and the strength that she showed during that time that she was um, diagnosed with breast cancer. So I got to go ahead and get up off of that before I get emotional because y'all know it don't take much for your girl to start crying. So I decided that, um, so what I'm doing is I'm using the McCart pink poly gel kit. Um, just the one with the four different ones. I didn't get the seven piece one. Um, and I've had this poly gel kit for, uh, about a year, some change now. I actually got it during the lockdown. Um, and so I'm doing the Femi beauty method. Everybody knows that method. If not, then what, what basically what I'm doing is I'm taking the poly gel and I'm using the e -nail couture long tapered square. Um, I decided that I wanted to change the shape up because y'all know I'm a coffin girl. Coffin is my thing. Sculptured coffin. That's my thing. I really love coffin nails, but I wanted to change it up, try something different. So what I did to the inside of the nail is I etched the nail as usual. And right here, what I'm doing is I'm using a um, mesh. And so what I should have done, learn from my mistake. I should have put the uh, poly gel down first then the mesh because the mesh would have had something to adhere to and then put it on my nail. So on my left hand, it looks very, very good, but I mean, excuse me, not my left hand. On my right hand, it looks good, but on my left hand, you can't really tell because I used the um, pink, I think it was 832. I used that pink on my left hand because I was doing, you know, trying something different. And I also used um, another poly gel that I have and I can't remember the um, name of the company, but I use that on my left hand. So the left hand is gonna be further in the video. I actually did my nails on two different days because um, at first I was just gonna have Mitch Match, Mitch Match hands, but um, I decided that I didn't wanna do that. I wanted to bring awareness to uh, breast cancer. And also I don't, I don't wear pink like that. Pink is not my color. It's too feminine. I just, it's not my thing. Pink's not my thing. But I decided to go ahead and, um, like I said before, do this. And so I wear pink for my mother. So I'm actually clipping off the excess um, foil mesh. And I use an air quotes to foil mesh. I actually am clipping that off. And it was very easy to um, make sure that the nail was flush to my nail to make it look more natural because what I did on the outside of the nails, I um, like around the cuticle part of the nail, I actually filed that down a little bit. So I'm going in right here, um, and I did kind of like an ombre effect. So I have clear at the top around the cuticle area. Then I have this pink 832 going down the um, end of the nail, and it came out really, really cute. It's very, very cute, it's very, very pretty. And the nails are super girly, you know what I mean? Like, <sighs> Y'all, y'all just don't know. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just, pink's not my thing. 
I just don't like pink. But my daughter, she is the total opposite. She loves pink. She loves purple. She loves light blue. She's so girly. I can't. I can't. I can't. And so, um, yeah, so I'm just smoothing this out. I actually did use the... Um, uh, the liquid, I can't remember the name of it, the surface cleaner slash liquid that comes with it. I use that one on my right hand and I forgot that I don't like the, um, the stuff that comes in the kit. I actually like using alcohol because the, for me, the stuff that comes in the kit, it bubbles. But when I use alcohol, I don't have that bubble problem. So what I like to do is I like to apply some of the, uh, surface cleaner solution to the brush and then I like to dip the brush onto the paper, kind of like how people do acrylic. That's what I like to do when I use poly gel. I have not used poly gel in a very, very long time. I'm into hard gel now. Hard gel is my thing, but I decided that I need to switch it up and show y'all that your girl is multifaceted. And so, um, like I said, I etched the inside of the, um, and I think this is 834 by McCart. And so I wanted to make sure that I um, etched the inside of the nail so that way the poly gel can have something to adhere to. You don't have to do that step, but you do want to make sure that you apply the poly gel from um, side wall to side wall, from the cuticle area to the tip of the nail, because you don't want to have any clear spots. Um, I did um, use the jelly colors and so like on some nails it there is some clear space but however you could tell that there's poly gel there so uh, just be mindful of that and so what I like to do is I like to put it on my little um, acrylic dish and I like to it because it, it creates an um, a marble type effect and so I have the marble on my right hand on my index finger and my ring finger and then on my left hand I have the pinky ring finger and index finger and so on my middle fingers they're both with the mesh and then on my thumbs they're both with that pretty pretty jelly color that pretty that jelly color is so so pretty so when you're putting the nail on you want to make sure that you prep your nails very very well and that you're not getting close to the cuticle because you don't want your nails to what pop off i actually had that happen when i was in north carolina i don't remember what i was doing but I oftentimes, like, when I have long nails, these aren't that long to me. But when I have longer nails, like, and I'm cleaning and stuff, I always hit either my thumb or my daggone pinky on something. Like, I was wiping my uh truck down. And as I was wiping, my pinky hit the license plate thing. Oh, my goodness. You talk about pain. And so when I took, um, and that was on my left hand. So when I took that nail off, it was kind of bruised a little bit. Um, Not too much to where it was, like you know, like the nail was damaged, but you could actually tell that um, some stuff had happened. So when I was in North Carolina, I hit my thumb on something. And then, no, as a matter of fact, because I was, we were in and out of hotels and I was moving all that stuff. I hit my nail on something and I thought, oh, okay, you know, it's whatever. So then I had redone my nails. I put um different, I forgot whatever I use. It's in some video somewhere. Uh, it probably ain't out yet though. So I hit it. And then my nail was loose. I said, what is going on? I thought I was tripping. So then, y'all, I, I touched that. Like, I started peeling my nail. That bad boy did what? Popped smooth, cold, clean off. Me and Wells was looking. He said, mm-hmm. And I said, I I said, I know. And so I, because I don't, I don't like to not, if I'm gonna have nails on, we're gonna have nails on, you know what I'm saying? So I don't walk around with one finger, um, not done. So I did have to, cause my daughter wanted to go to this place to go eat. So I went out and got the food for her. And then when I went back, I sat down and I did my nails. And so I want to give you guys an update. My mom's nails are still holding strong they still rocking steady she's still um wearing them so your girl I've, I've been learning you know what i'm saying i'm learning and so i'm so glad that she was able to get um a long usage out of them and so i'm <clears throat> so i explained to her how she could do her nails and so um i'm excited to see the creations that she comes up with because she has a lot of nail stuff herself um she has a lot of nail stuff so what i'm doing right now is um i'm filing 
the nail down especially this middle finger because some of the poly gel seeped out i don't mind the poly gel seeping out because i know that i can go in with my nail file so that doesn't bother me too much i'd rather have more product than have you know not enough product is it right here no, it's not right. I thought it was right. I got almost got excited. So I'm making sure that I clip all the mesh off. And um, so for the most part, I did that. And the nails turned, like I said, they turned out very, very well. These nails are fire. <laughs> they fire, child, okay? And so, um, yeah, just making sure that I get all of that mesh off. Um, and Because you can... Then you can file the mesh off pretty easily. And so I think I am going to do another set with the mesh. I'm going to, um, I think I'm going to play around and see um, the best way to apply the mesh. Um, I don't think I'll be able to do the mesh like on press on nails. I don't think so. But um, it's just, you know, like a different tool in my arsenal. And it just makes the nails look, I don't know. It just makes them look so much more different than anything else. And I got the um, foils from, I think I got them from Amazon. Yeah. So again, just filing, 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 filing. Y'all, I am so looking forward to Thanksgiving. Um, I'm not a real big, ever since my grandmother passed away, like I haven't been really big into the holidays because it just don't. For me, it just doesn't feel the same, but I'm actually looking forward to Thanksgiving this year because um, normally I don't cook. Like I cooked last year because of we were on what? Lockdown. But, um, and so it turned out really, really good. I can't, I don't remember why I stopped cooking Thanksgiving, but um, I cooked the size that my daughter likes. Like she likes mac and cheese. <laughs> I don't like mac and cheese. I don't like mac and cheese, not my thing, but she likes mac and cheese and she likes something else I don't like. And so I like um, dressing and uh, yams and she doesn't like those. So I made the different sides for us. And then I had like um, the broccoli, broccoli and rice and like scalloped potatoes and just some different stuff. And then I, I got us like a little small uh, turkey breast from, I think the commissary, I think. And so um, I think I'm going to go ahead and get my turkey this year. Um, I'm just talking because I'm doing a whole bunch of filing because I want to make sure that you guys see exactly what I'm doing. Because if you guys want to do this, like you can take use an e-file to take all the um, additional product off. But for me, um, I like to get in there with my hand file because I can feel... Um, I can feel better with the hand file. And I know like... Yes, I use the e-file, but I don't I don't I don't really rely on that. So now I'm just going in and I'm buffing um to take the shine off the nails and to ensure that the um top coat has something to stick to. So I'm using the e-nail couture. Ooh, what is it? They have a new top coat and so the top coat is supposed to be is thicker. It is th 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 thick. It's thick. That top coat is thick, and so it's supposed to be um like uh scratch resistant and all that other stuff. And so I really like I love Eno Couture's products. Um and I do know, you know, he was he was wrong for what he said about old girl. You know what I'm saying? But when it's all said and done, at the end of the day, we've all done some things and made some mistakes. And so I can't hold that against him because God didn't hold against me the stuff that I did in my life um, and stuff that I do in my life. So I'm not going to hold that against that man. You know what I'm saying? Like he's, he hasn't, from my knowledge, he hasn't been in any more scandals. You know what I'm saying? And so, um, you know, I'm just really trying to work this forgiveness thing because we're, we have forgiveness teachings at my church. So really trying to work that forgiveness thing. Um, cause he ain't, he didn't do nothing to me. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm talking to my daughter right here. <laughs> oh no, I was watching, um, what was I watching? I was watching some show. So, well, like I like to, I like background noise. Um, and so sometimes I do be watching it. And so, <laughs> 
sometimes I do be watching the show. And so like my daughter, she'll pull up the stool and she'll sit and she'll um sit with me because there's like a wall that separates the living room from the y'all have seen it before. Uh, if you watch the t-shirt videos, the living room separate is separated by a wall. So I have my um nail desk up on that wall or whatnot. So I'm looking at my my nails, you know what I'm saying, making sure that I got most of that um excess poly gel off because um I did my nails on the let me see. Let me get my phone to see how long, y'all. Hold on, hold on. I did my nails on the 18th, and so I'm gonna be wearing them till November 1st. So that's going to be two weeks. Oh Lord, it's gonna be two weeks and one day. So it's 15 days, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. She cannot do no math. That's gonna be thirteen days. Um because like I said, I wear pink for my mother. So I'm gonna make sure that I have the unless I gotta give y'all a disclaimer. I'm gonna keep them on to the first unless some happen on one of these. If one of these bad boys pop off, if they bloop, then that's it. So right here I have some dangle um nail charms i don't know where i got this from uh, i think i got it from amazon i think this is one of the ones from amazon um so i'm just looking and i think these are like daily charm and other ones that i got from Shein. um and just i mixed them all together so and i got some from amazon as well um i had got vivi some too so um yeah so i'm just trying out the different nail charms because i didn't want to do I want the nails to um, stand out, but also be, I want them to stand out, but I also want them to be like regal and elegant. So that's what these charms are giving me. They're giving me regal. They're giving me elegant. They're giving me, you know, grown woman vibes. Okay. So what I'm doing now is um, I'm just setting them out. So that way I can use my glue. The glue I'm using is Zule's nail glue. And I'm using the uh, Mia Secret Resin Dryer as well. I got both of those products from Zule Nails. This rhinestone picker tool I picked up from Amazon. And so I'm just going to apply this on here and I'm going to press it down. Then I'm going to go in there with what? The Mia Secret Resin Glue Spray. We're going to spray this bad boy down. And then we're going to allow it to dry. So what I messed, I messed up on my left hand. Okay. Okay. I'm going to tell you what I did. So I, you know, spray, you say I spray, I spray good. You know what I'm saying? That I let it dry. You know what I'm saying? I fan it a little bit so it can dry. But on my left hand, I forgot that I had just done my nails. So what ended up happening was, okay, what ended up happening was I went and I washed my hands. Bad move, dude. So that very next day, the very next day I lost, uh, like one of the charms was coming off, but I was able to... Uh, reapply it with nail glue so right here i'm going in with my jenny secrets um pen tool and i'm going in and i'm just going around the uh gold part because i don't want the gold part to um tarnish and be looking like rose gold or copper and so um when i put on the um top coat i cure it in the lamp and so that cures that product and um so that way i won't have any tarnishing happening so i went and i washed my hands and um that next day the index finger part like the top part at the index finger was coming off but because i keep nail glue in my bag in my backpack it um i was able to put it on and so it stand but when my daughter and i went to five below one of them the one on the index finger did what popped off and i said sis so i'm looking i don't even know where it's at and so I was like, well, look like we're going to church like this. And so on my index finger, it's missing a charm. I think I'm going to put the other charm, uh, put a charm back on there because I just really can't walk around like that. So as you can see, this um, top coat is very thick. It's very glossy. It's very shiny. It's got a high shine. And guess what? It's a no wipe top coat. Okay. Okay. So these nails my left hand let me tell you child so those nails that were on my left hand i think that video that video is already out the nails on my left hand were so incredibly long 
they were so long. Like, I was hitting stuff. Like, I scratched myself. I think I scratched my daughter. Man, them gloves was super long, but I was trying to wear them, you know, for the sake of content. So, what ended up happening was, like, my um, index finger. Like, the next day, um, like, I kept hitting my index finger. Just boop, 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 boop. So, I, I was doing something. And I hit that index finger again. I think I was wiping something down. I think I was wiping something down. I hit that index finger and that bad boy did what? Popped. But um, the thing about that is though, it popped where the cute around the cuticle. However, the tip was still stuck on. So I was like, okay, well, what I did was um, since I popped it, I put some nail glue in there and then I just held it in place thinking that, you know, it was going to be okay. And the next day it did the same thing. And so I was worried about getting a greenie, but I forgot. So a greenie is where um, the uh, the nail separates from the natural nail and liquid gets in there. And then, you know, it begins to uh, grow. It's not necessarily fungus, but like it starts to turn green. But I forgot I, that I had that because um, what I like to do is I like to put a rubber base coat down on my natural nail to protect it. And so when I, uh, uh, so when I was e-filing it, that part just popped off and you know, my nail was okay. My nail was fine. So what I forgot to do in the, in the earlier, uh, video, part of the video was I forgot to put that stuff, um, the tips on the nail stand and then go in and, you know what I'm saying? Apply the poly gel. So I'm using 91% isopropyl alcohol. Um, no, excuse me, 99% isopropyl alcohol. It's the same alcohol I've had forever, but now we have access to alcohol. So now I'm using, um, I have 91%, um, because I was getting the 99% shipped to me. And so, um, what I like to do is I like to, um, do all the nails at one time, but then I was like, well, I don't want to do that. Um, I want to make sure that I'm doing it okay and I don't want to feel rushed. So I didn't do that, but um, doing this uh, Femi Beauty Method, it, it for me, um, from start to finish, so I think I started at like 512. I started at 512 and I said to myself, I said, self, myself said, huh? I said, I want to be done by 712. I said, I'm giving you two hours to do this. And so I was done in about an hour and a half. Um, and so I had time to spare. And so I thought that that was pretty cool. So this method is very, very quick. Um, I like poly gel, but I don't like that poly gel is sticky. I don't like that. Ugh. <sighs> I don't like that stuff on my hands, sis. I do not like that stuff on my hands. And so what I like to do is I like to make sure that the nail is straight. My index fingers are actually pretty crooked. So sometimes it looks like my fingers, fingernails throwing up gang signs. And it's only because when I'm applying the nails, I forget that my uh, index finger is um crooked and so that i need to slant it to the right a little bit more and so but this time um they're pretty straight and so um i did my mom justice you know what i'm saying so i'm just applying it and um my uh tack um is old i haven't changed <laughs> i don't think I, I ain't changed that stuff in about a year because i don't really use this one um i, I use the other one for my press on nails so I don't really use this one. Um, I just use this one for either um, these purposes or whenever I uh, swatch um, gel polish. But I don't use gel polish like that anymore. Um, I'm a strictly builder gel kind of girl. Because for me, builder gel makes the, um, what's some things called? Press on nails more sturdy. And then, you know, like the person can reuse the press on nails and so i like to do several coats of that but you guys have seen the videos of that was my knee you guys will see the videos have seen the videos of me doing press ons with the hard gel and so um yeah my clients really really like them and so um i more so you know do stuff for the sake of content um just thinking of different ways to um uh, you know, express my creativity. That uh, ring finger is gorgeous, sis. So the darker pink is from, I think it's from Savvy Land. But the darker pink is uh, from Savvy Land, I think. And so with that, it um, it's a temperature changing poly gel. And so right now, because it's warm, um, that's, it's, that's why it's that color. But no, yeah. 
that's why it's that color. No, it was cool. So, because it was um, a little cold outside. And so that's why it's that color. But now, because the room in here is warm, it's um, like a light purple, almost white. And so I really liked the colors and how the pinks uh, came together. And so right now, I'm trying to do the mesh again. I'm putting a base coat down because uh, I was thinking that, oh, okay, you can put a base coat down. It's going to stick. The base coat's going to make the mesh stick. And so I'll put it into the lamp for five seconds. Watch this. Somebody come look at this. Look, 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 Somebody come look at this. Man, please. That bad boy there was like, no, no, no. We ain't sticking. What you think? <laughs> we ain't sticking. What you think this is, man? So I just took the 832 and I'm putting it down um, because I realized that on the right hand that I had made a mistake. And so now this time I'm going to take this bad boy and we what? We're going to press it down. Look at her. Pressing it down. Get in there. Get in there get in there get in there and it's like no i don't want to no you can't make me so i said man we finna put this bad boy on we're gonna slap it on slap it slap it says move that from that cuticle girl move it from the cuticle mm, you just gonna push it up on the cuticle huh oh, okay now you're wiping your hand off in the alcohol so i want to make sure that this uh stuff uh stuck in there pretty good and so now we're going to put this bad boy in. Well, we're going to do something else. Oh, okay, we're going to smooth it out again. Now we're going to go around the cuticle because it's a lot of product right there. And we ain't trying to be filing all day. Okay. And if you concentrate on, um, what's it called? Application. You won't have that much filing. But um, look, sis, I be, I be in a rush to go nowhere. Okay. So we're going to put this eventually. Hmm. Now we're going to put it, when you're going to put it in the lamp, girl, you see how you can't tell that the mesh is on there. And that's just simply because it, um, the color that I selected, I should have went with the jelly color, but, um, I want, I like that little pink. I like that light pink, even though pink ain't my color. Um, yeah, I keep saying that I know. And so now I'm just going in with more of the pink to ensure that the nail is built up and that it is sturdy. Um, you know, Couture's nails are pretty, um, they are pretty sturdy, but I just like to ensure that I have proper coverage on the nail. So that way we can ensure that, um, the nail doesn't pop or the nail doesn't break. Um, so you can barely tell that there's anything there. Um, and it's all good. You can, cause the gold, like it looks like an air bubble where the gold part is. But it's all good. Um, you know, I'm I'm learning. So now I'm doing some more filing. Oh, goodness. How much filing are you doing, sis? Okay, we get it. You got to go around the cuticle. Blah, blah, blah. Take the shine off. So on and so forth. Oh, my goodness. Ugh. And so I'm going to be doing the same thing. I'm going to, um, like, once I get done with all this filing that ain't on camera. So right, really what I'm doing right now is I'm taking all the poly gel that's on my skin. I'm taking that off with this file. It's an 80-80 grit panophile. Um, I don't like the 180-100 grit nail files. I don't like them at all. Um, they're just too... Um, they're not strong enough for me. So I'm going around with my cuticle nippers to get whatever poly gel is left on my skin that I could not get with the file. Um, and that file is pretty thick too. So it's kind of, um, I have two files. So I have this one and then I have a skinnier one. And so with the skinnier one, I keep that one upstairs and I go around the cuticle once I'm done um, filming and stuff like that. And it gets it off pretty good. Um, yeah. So... Y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think below. Um, do you have any suggestions of nails I should try? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm I'm thinking about acrylic, but I'm not too sure. I don't know. I don't like the smell of acrylic, so I'm just not. I don't know. But anyway, um, I sure appreciate you guys. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. And if you got this far in the video, please like the video and please comment down below. And... Um, so this has been Journey with Wendy. I'm me, she, her, and Wendy. New videos are posted every Tuesday and Thursday. Sometimes on Wednesday, depending on what's going on. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave them down below or hit your girl up at Journey with Wendy with an I, not a Y, at gmail.com. And with that, you know what that means that your girl is what? That your girl is AO.
strangest thing It's shorter than you think No think Longing is the music of our sphere. The gift of life is never more or less. It starts at any time you like and ends in just a wink.